Okay, now I already know that this one is going to be very divisive. Now check this out. Can you imagine if a concept like this actually went down? Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegeta versus Ultra Ego Vegeta. Let me know in the comment section below as to who you guys think would win and why, because not for nothing, I believe that although Vegeta in his Ultra Ego form is just without question a very formidable opponent to whoever he ends up fighting, I just think that in my own opinion, a concept such as Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegeta would be that much better. So in the comment section below, let me know who do you guys think would win, MUI Vegeta or Ultra Ego Vegeta, which I also want to know from you guys down in the comment section below as to number one, if of course you guys want to see a sprite animation battle involving such concepts concepts on my main channel and I was actually in some kind of way thinking about giving a story to Vegeta where he ends up either asking Whis to fight a counterpart of his that just so happens to have the opposite variation of either Ultra Ego or Ultra Instinct so I was really considering that but again you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comment section below on whether or not you guys want to see that because for me just like this fight right now I don't see Ultra Ego pulling off the victory unless Ultra Instinct Vegeta is the one just continuously attacking him and Ultra Ego just getting stronger but at the same time we saw the contradiction in the manga every single time Vegeta took hits and it just in some kind of way didn't really feel right you know what I mean because after a while against Granola he ultimately just burned out and that really sucked because we saw how he was starting to lose his vision and he was getting essentially tired out from all of the punishment taken from him so I don't know for me that's why I feel like if it's not going to be a stamina issue with MUI then I firmly do believe that MUI Vegeta would actually tank and destroy Ultra Ego Vegeta but again that's up to you guys to decide and I want to see how far we can actually go with this because I mean just right now I'm eating Hakai's I'm trying to survive I think I okay am I alive okay good I'm alive I mean thus far you guys can just automatically see that Ultra Ego Vegeta doesn't have a chance but let me know should we do a story where MUI Vegeta actually fights Ultra Ego Vegeta and if so who do you guys think we should make the victor of that story because I just said for me I'm gonna have to go with Ultra Instinct taking the victory oh damn the entire planet has just been destroyed i mean nonetheless if that were to happen yeah i could see that being a thing but i don't know to me if i were to do that story i would have to lean towards mui vegeta beating ultra ego vegeta but if you guys want to see something different i guess then let me know should we have ultra ego win and if so how should it be done right because i want to have the main timeline vegeta i guess in this case have ultra ego and he ends up fighting the opposite counter to that which is MUI Vegeta from like a different timeline or whatever the case may be so we're gonna do a rematch because that was pretty good and we're not finished now here's the thing too so if we actually have Ultra Eagle Vegeta be the one that comes from the main timeline then what I really wanted to do is either have it to where it ends in a draw or a stalemate which is kind of iffy but if Ultra Eagle Vegeta were to beat MUI Vegeta then I because it, it really becomes a you know a, a test of durability to see how much Ultra Eagle Vegeta can absorb from MUI Vegeta but at the same time also it becomes a test of agility to see if Ultra Ego can actually be fast enough to touch the counterpart that is of Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegeta so let me go ahead and end his life with this Hakai and at the same time too I, I it, it'll be an interesting concept to see because I want to do a sprite animation involving that so I guess if I end up doing a story involving this then I might just swap it around to where let's just say in the fan manga if Ultra Instinct wins then for the sprite animation I'll have Ultra Ego win and if Ultra Ego wins in the manga then I'll just have Ultra Instinct win in the sprite animation here we go the final flash Hakai oh damn I was about to say there's no way he's surviving that first thing, I mean just looking at him and just seeing the amount of power that Vegeta could amass it's insane but at the same time there's something about the concept of Ultra Instinct that I don't think that Ultra Ego Vegeta could get the better of him and I, I guess going forward what I might introduce after this will be just you know Ultra Ego Goku versus Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku I mean kind of similar to this but I guess some people will complain by saying oh why does Goku have Ultra Ego I mean it doesn't suit him yeah it doesn't suit him but I think that'd be pretty interesting so I really I don't know in, in this case right now let me see if I can just beat the ever so holy mother of god out of the G's blocking me uh oh no saying good this is now hold on wait a minute if if I connect this that'll be ever wow never mind all right so he went right through me on that one so again let me know your thoughts down below on the concept of UE Vegeta versus MUI Vegeta and who you guys primarily want to win in the manga by comparison to the sprite animation and 
I guess we'll just take it from there. So I want to go on ahead and finish things off right now by actually ending this man by using my most powerful attack. If we could do that, then I think that's all she wrote for him. You know what I mean? Um, there's, there's no escape. Yep, that's it. The final Hakai Flash or the Hakai Final Flash. Yep, it's done. That was actually pretty good, and I can't wait to introduce you guys to so much as the year goes on. It's going to be great, I'm telling you.